What's up guys, Backstar here with a new video. Um, I know it's been a really, really long time since I made a new video now. It's actually been about three months, I think. And um, I, I actually say this every single time I make a new video, so I think it's kind of getting pointless to say now. Um, really, I could give you guys reasons as to why, and uh, I am really busy. I technically shouldn't even be doing this right now. I have like finals in like a week and a half, and I am nowhere close to being prepared for those. But anyway, I'm doing this video now because I wanted to play Comet Arms and uh, I started playing last weekend. And let's get into the very first thing that I wanted to talk about. And that's the recent Black Friday. Oh yeah, that kill right there. <laughs> Probably the funniest kill I've ever gotten in Comet Arms. Not the most epic, but literally, I was walking down the hall and there's always people down that hall. So I decided just to scope in my scar, shoot down the hall. I shot one bullet, got one not shot. That was it, and I just actually laughed in real life, just really hard. Anyway, so um, what I want to talk about was the Black Friday uh, weekend special, whatever the hell you want to call it, that happened last week. Um, it was 100% pure coincidental that I came back on that weekend, um, because someone had asked me, hey, Vax, want to play Common Arms? I'm like, uh, I haven't played it in so long. It's been three months since I played, by the way. But I said, yeah, sure, why not? So I played that Friday... And I ended up playing pretty much the whole weekend. And, um, oh my god, I was actually appalled at the amount of experience I was getting. Uh, complete. I was actually angry because it made me feel like, well, first of all, everyone that I knew is like ranked up like crazy in the last three months. I don't know how, but, well, actually, I do know how because I'm about to get into that. But they've ranked up like crazy, and I'm like, holy crap, everyone's like a huge rank now, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, I, I, I was appalled. I got like between 3,500 experience and 4,000 experience every single game. And I played a lot during the weekend, I'm going to say. And um, actually, one of my friends looked at my weekly, like quote-unquote weekly um, experience gains that I got for that week, and he noted like 260,000 experience that week. And the thing is, that I only really played like three days. And I did play a lot, but at the same time, like I didn't. Like, I was getting 4,000 experience a game. Like, it was totally ridiculous. It made me feel like my rank was worth nothing. It was actually, it was pretty upsetting. Uh, anyways, I'm spending too much time on that. I just wanted to say that the experience gains that you could have got last week is absolutely ridiculous. I went from Major 3, like 20%, to like Major 5. Um, which I'm at now, Major 5, uh, 20, 30%, something like that. Anyway, uh, so I want to talk about, I want to talk about the, uh, customizations. Um, I'm using Scar Ultra Spear, and I've always loved this gun, but the recoil pattern is a little awkward, and it can be annoying sometimes. But if you do fully customize it, like the one I have with uh, the barrel upgrade, uh, blah, 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 I don't, know, I don't know what they are, the trigger, and the, what was the last one? Piston. So for damage accuracy and fire rate. And it is amazing. Oh, yeah, by the way, rape headshots there. Uh, aim high. And uh, anyways... <laughs> Uh, and the Scar L Trisphere is so good because the recoil pattern actually goes straight up and down. Um, if you fire too fast, you tap fire really, really fast, or you go full auto, it will go back to its normal sideways recoil pattern that it has uh, without the customization. But, I mean, like, this gun is just amazing. It's so good. Um, the new customizations has totally revamped all the old guns in this game. For the most part, some of the other guns are pretty much the same or just crappy still. But, um... The Scar L Trisphere is just so much better. Um, it was, like I said though, it's always been a good gun, like don't get me wrong, but the accuracy upgrade and the damage upgrade and the recoil and, uh, fire, or sorry, recoil and spread and recoil pattern upgrade, oh my god, it's amazing. Uh, go straight up and down, one of my favorite guns to use now. I've also been using the M416 CQB a lot, and that is partly the reason why I have an, I, uh, an attached iTech scope to this gun. Uh, like I said, um, Previously, if you watched any of my other videos, uh, when I've ever mentioned or talked about scopes, I like the ACOG scope better, and I'm not sure about that anymore because when I was using the M416 CQB, which I was using for the first couple of days when I came back, um, I was using G36E and it was still really, really good. Just I randomly used M416 CQB and I started doing really good with it, so I kept with it. And I'm so good, like, sorry, <laughs> I didn't mean to say it like that. Um, I was doing so good with the M416 CQB at getting headshots that it was blowing my mind how accurate I was being. So I was like, wow, this is so good. Like, I'm so good with iTech for some reason. And then I put it on the SCAR, and 
it just went from there. And now I just I just love having the iTech scope on the Scar L. Anyways, customizations are really 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 cool. I talk about I talk more about the customizations in general um, after the reviews or review. Just the gameplay video is over. But um, I also wanted to talk about the new perks that we have in Comet Arms. I'll probably talk about that in another video. Um, this game is almost over, and I have a little bit of a uh, snippet from another game that I played with the M416 CQB at the end of this game. And it's not really much. I just put it in there to extend the length of the video, and also because I get like an ultra kill with all headshots. But um, uh, I do want to talk about perks later. And also, I kind of wanted to talk about customizations a little bit more. I talked too much about the stupid experience thing. Um, customizations. It's just really, really cool. Um, the M416 fully customized is really amazing. Well, yeah, you can also fully customize, or partly customize, I don't know which, an M4A1 SOP mod and M416 CQB camo. And the CQB camo just sounds absolutely retarded to me, and I would love, love to get my hands on a fully customized M416 CQB. Speaking of M416 CQB, um, Here's this uh, video. It's not very long. And then I'm going to get into my little spiel about customizations and what guns I have customized personally. Um, but yeah, I would love to try an M416 CQB camo fully customized because that would be pretty amazing. Uh, the M4A1 Salmon's probably really good too. Um, yeah, I actually kind of wanted to talk about a little bit more about this, especially like the ACR. The ACR fully customized is actually really good. Um, I didn't really get to talk about everything I wanted to say in this video, but that's okay. Hopefully I come out with a new video soon, and I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay video. Hello guys, Backstar here, and uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about customization. Um, I know you guys just finished watching review, and probably me talking about it, because uh, I haven't actually made the commentary yet for that, but you're going to be seeing this after the video, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to talk about the Scar L Tri Spear a lot in that video, so I'll actually leave that out of it. And I want to talk about customization in general. Um, I might, may or may have not talked about the PP19 uh, customized in that review. Just in case I didn't, um, the only thing you can customize with the PP19 is the fire rate. And it does have type 3 as you can see here. As long as the Scar L2, the damage, fire rate, accuracy, and recoil is all fully customized. Um, you probably heard me talk about that in the review, so I'll leave that alone. But uh, I'm just going to say that the PP19, the fire rate customization, isn't really that big of a deal. Uh, the PP19 seems to be just as good as it... Uh, would be anyway without the customization but I'll move on to the M4A1 Desert Warrior down here which I also fully customized completely and it is freaking baller it is so good <laughs> um, the M4A1 Desert Warrior slash M4A1 like the normal GP standard is really great gun as it is already um, I, I can it, I, I can definitely feel the damage and accuracy um, I don't know so much about the fire rate the recoil it's plus three here, but the recoil is the same, basically, in my opinion. Um, I'm probably going to talk about the Scar L's, Scar L's recoil in uh, in in the in the review, so I'm, I'm not going to say anything about that. I also fully customized uh, my M14SE. Now I'm pretty disappointed by the M14SE, uh, even though it's fully customized. I played around with it with a little bit, and it's not as great as I thought it would be. Oh, as a side note, up here. Permanent uh, FAM, I don't even know how to say that, FAM A S A F. it's probably an abbreviation. Um, I played with that SMG, and wow, <laughs> I'm not going to say it's overpowered, but damn, it's really good. I actually have customized, fully customized an L96A1. This one isn't, and I probably can. Actually, I know I know I can. I should have enough customization parts, but I don't want to waste it on that because I have other sniper rifles. It's uh, not that great, actually. The accuracy is a little bit better, uh, but it pretty much feels like uh, any other L96A1. I haven't actually customized this M1866 because I haven't wanted to waste my customization parts on that yet, but I will, and I will see how close of a one-hit kill it actually can get to with a damage upgrade because you can see right here you can have um, all three... Um, Upgrades, accuracy, damage, and fire rate. Okay, let's move down here. The M416, I have this for 909 days, which is hilarious. Uh, like two and three quarters years, like three years almost. And this is just absolutely amazing. Uh, just like the M4A1 Desert Warrior, fully customized, it's pretty amazing. Um, the ACR, actually, I want to talk about this just a little bit. I fully customized this ACR uh, just to see what it's like. You can only put the damage, ac or the damage, uh, customization and the accuracy customization you can't change the fire rate and it works really really good it's um it's actually funny because the ECR is actually a decent enough gun to use when it's fully customized um, when it's not customized I think it's pretty pretty trashy I would not use it 
Um, L115A2, fully customize this as well. Fire rate increase and also uh, accuracy increase. Feels just like a uh, regular L115A2. I haven't extensively tested it with the fire rate and everything, but it doesn't really feel that great or all that much faster, really. Um, and the M416 CQB, I have used, this one isn't actually customized, um, but I have but I have played around with it. I've actually picked up other people's M417 CQBs, and I do have to say it does work much better, actually customized with the accuracy and damage bonus. In fact, I have this for 13 days, and I might just do it now just for fun. I'll do it right in front of you guys right now. Let's grab it here. Piston damage upgrade. Choose level 3. I could spend GP, but I'm not going to. 50% is pretty high. There we go, got one. And the barrel for the accuracy, level type 3, 20 customization parts. Let's do that. Wow, I actually didn't fail. That's pretty good. And uh, that's all I really have to say about the customization, guys. It's probably a long enough video as it is, so uh, I'll see you guys later.